In this video, I'll guide you through the process of installing FX Console in After Effects. First, open your web browser and search for FX Console. From the search results, click on the first link. This will take you to the official download page. Scroll down until you see the download button. FX Console is available for both Windows and Mac, so download the version that matches your operating system. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I'll click on the Windows Download button. After the download is complete, navigate to the location where the file was saved. Right-click on the downloaded zip file and extract it to any location you prefer. Once the extraction is complete, locate the extracted folder and double-click on the installation file. This will open the installation prompt. In the installation window, click on I agree to accept the terms. You'll now see an option to select a custom path for the installation. If you want to choose a specific location, you can tick the custom path box. In this example, I'll install the plugin directly in the After Effects folder. To do this, navigate to your After Effects installation folder. Here, you can create a new folder by right-clicking and selecting New Folder. Name the folder anything you'd like, then select this folder as the installation location. Once that's done, click Install and then Finish. Now that FX Console is installed, let's open After Effects to check if everything is working correctly. Once After Effects is open, create a new composition or select an existing one. To test if FX Console is installed, select any layer in your composition and press Ctrl plus Space on your keyboard. You should see the FX Console pop-up appear which means the installation was successful. And that's it. You've now installed FX Console in After Effects and it's ready for you to use in your projects.